Hi everybody, this is Jen from Jen's Art. Um, I'm just going to show you how I set up that um, digital um, drawing practice that I did. Because somebody asked me, how did you set up the two photographs? So what I'll do is I'll start from scratch. And I'll start as if I haven't done anything yet. So what, I, what I'll do first is I'll create... The canvas now i've got some canvases here already at the right size 6000 by 4800 pixels and 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 that is a a lovely size to start drawing okay now i'll just put my glove on right so th what i want to do first of all there's my there's the size that i've got i've got it in landscape mode i'm just going to change the background color I'll change it into a nice a brown a gray brown okay right because white can sometimes be a bit too stark so what I want to do first is I want to import the photograph that I want to try and paint and I'm going to put the photograph on the left and I'll do my drawing on the right so first of all I have to add a photo so I go to the add option and I say insert a photo and that takes me to my latest and there's the photo now I'm just using my two fingers and I'm just going to resize it okay so there it is there just turn it a little bit more right that's about it okay so now i've got a picture on my background color okay what i want to do is i want to make two images so all i do is i just uh, go to layer one and swipe to the left and say duplicate and it creates two images you can't see two because one's on top of the other so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take the top one because it's highlighted and I'll just move it across. See? So now I have two images. Okay. If I swipe to the right on layer on the bottom layer, they're both called layer one, which is really confusing. But if I swipe to the right, it's a little bit darker blue, and that means I've selected both. And what I can do is when I select both, see. You can move them together and not only that is you can resize them together see if you, you get the right size you want then go back to layer one go to the positioning and there you go and that's how i i start my two layers right so what I'm how I start the drawing off is I take I tell you what we're going to do we're going to say we'll call layer one no sorry we'll call this layer one rename it just so I know what's what and um, reference photo okay so we know the reference photo is on the left see if I highlight and toggle it on and off. This layer is, um, we'll rename that, we'll just call it reference copy. Okay, that's called reference copy. So I'm going to take reference copy and see this little N, if I click on it, this is the opacity. So if I change the opacity and make it a little bit fader, okay. It's still there, but it's I've faded the opacity. Now I'm going to create a new layer, and we'll call this layer Sketch. Outline. Okay. So there's nothing on that. Look, if I show you this, it's just a blank, transparent. Uh, but what I'm going to do with this, look, if I go into, say, this brown here, and get my sketching pencil, see a 6B. 
what I can do now is because I'm on on the layer above the reference copy right I can start sketching so let's set me up the pencil up Again, I'm on pencil mode and all I'm doing is I'm just tracing an outline okay now just to show you I'll take the reference copy away see my out outline that I've got so all I'm doing is I'm just sketching There we go. And what this does just allows you to get all the details that you're going to sketch. This is not the finished sketch. This is just going to help me do an outline and a guide. Okay. So all I'm doing is I'm just very roughly tracing the outline. Now the detail is up to you how much detail you want to put in this outline. You're going to use it as a guide. So it doesn't have to be as detailed as the actual photo. But if I show you very very quickly and I'll just get this ear in and I'm just scribbling it in very very rough just outlines a little bit of shading here and there look not too much. I'm just emphasizing everything. Okay, so there's my oops, there's my outline, see? And I'm gonna use that to help me do my painting in. Okay, now I'm just gonna go into one that I've already done okay and let's take this outline here and copy it go back to the one where we were and three fingers swipe paste and I've got an outline that I did earlier you see and I'm just going to place it over I might have to make it a little bit bigger There we go, a little bit. There. This is an outline that I did previous. So I'll show you the outline. There's my first one up. So there's the outline. And now I can actually start uh, painting. So let's get rid of that one. So we've only got one sketch outline. Let's rename it to a sketch. outline okay now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lock that okay I'm going to create a new layer above it and this is going to be I'm just lock these I can't do anything with them I'll take the reference off so I'm on my new layer and it's it has to be below the um, sketch layer because when I come to do the actual colouring in. I can pick a colour like the ear and there we go. I don't know if you can see that. 
probably in the wrong pencil I'll go to inking I'll go to my studio pen ah, that's a better pencil this is good I ah, see so see now I can fill in the hole here with a base tone and I can start doing the drawing colouring in okay um, just so I know because when I zoom in I lose my reference on the left so what I what I like to do is I like to go to my reference photo and just take an outline see all I've done is I've, I've clicked on the little um, elastic band icon and I've gone around the ear and I'll say copy and paste okay so I've made a copy and where is the copy there it is I'm on it so I'll just highlight it and so yeah I don't distort the size I move it just below and I put it right next to my ear and then you see I'm ready to start sketching what I might want to do is I might want to because I can see the outline on top of the ear reference so I'll put it on top of my sketch outline see right now I'm in a position where I've got all the colors this is my palette this is my color palette so I can go in and get some shadow color and let's just put some shadow color in there maybe use a different brush try an airbrush okay so I've got some color in there just use the smudgy brush Don't know. let's try that again use my airbrush ah, that's better so I've got a nice little let's make it a little bit more forceful reduce the size and let's just go around Yeah, see so you can see straight away and I'm using my reference now it's a good base to get my colors if I want a color all I'm doing is I'm just change the opacity don't make it so strong uh, it's a bit weak a bit strong and all I'm doing is I'm just going in and this is how you can practice getting your colors right now let's do the inside of the ear there you see and it's this part here and just open it up a little bit that's it and this is the The light of the ear and let's make it a little bit lighter okay and whatever color I want from the palette I just pick it oops to get a good size for the brush there we go and that was very quickly See how easy that is and it's a really fun way to just start uh, doing sketching and practicing you've got your reference I've got my palette it's just there look if I want that color there I can just get it open my make it really wide put some color in there look and all i'm doing is i'm just playing around with uh, and, and getting my tones see now if i just wanted to do all this uh, artwork but within the ear itself all i need to do is create another layer oh look i did, I did all that drawing on my reference Gonna erase it. That's the beauty of this. Now 
right so there's my layer that I did originally just a matte color create another layer on top and call it a clipping mask now when I do some work it'll only stay on this color that I've chosen see so I'll just put that in there and just start stitching but anyway this is just a quick way to show you how to to do a side by side um, painting from a reference okay i hope you found it useful and uh, i'll catch you again bye bye